InnoTech plays a key role in the Hydrogen Center of Excellence, which is a vital part of the Government of Alberta's Hydrogen Roadmap to activate hydrogen technology and innovation in Alberta. The Hydrogen Center of Excellence is managed by our parent company, Alberta Innovates. InnoTech's role in this Hydrogen Center of Excellence is to create unique testing facilities and provide technical advice that companies across the hydrogen value chain can use to advance their clean hydrogen technologies to commercialization. Uh, we specialize in a few areas, which include uh, testing new hydrogen production methods uh, from lab to pilot scales, uh, finding valuable applications for solid carbon produced by methane pyrolysis, uh, solving materials related issues in hydrogen handling equipment, uh, hydrogen fuel quality analysis, testing home appliances and heaters that are fueled by hydrogen and identifying gaps and solutions in hydrogen codes and standards. Since InnoTech is a research and technology organization, uh, it can be hard at times for us to figure out what specific capabilities we should develop that will give our stakeholders the biggest bang for our buck because there are always options available that we uh, that we could choose um, and there are essentially more options than we can actually accomplish with our limited time and resources uh, to make sure that we've invested in the right capabilities to support our clients like focusing on test facilities for hydrogen production fuel quality testing and end use device testing we listened to our clients and found that these specific areas were the ones that had the biggest gaps in support for testing, research, and technology development. To be honest with you, I see a really competitive and challenging landscape for most decarbonization pathways over the next decade, including hydrogen but I'm also seeing a landscape full of opportunities and potential surprises. Uh, right now, we're seeing the hype over hydrogen uh, maturing to, I would call a more pragmatic view. Um, and in that view, uh, I think we're gonna see only the most economic and best use cases for hydrogen win out over other options. Uh, when I look out across the global energy landscape, um, this probably means that electrification will be more competitive than hydrogen in a lot of cases but um, hydrogen will probably be the best or only choice uh, for uses as a chemical feedstock and in long-term energy storage where no other clean options are available uh, in some regions like in alberta and in western canada in some situations electrification can be very difficult and very expensive so uh, in Alberta, uh, for example, hydrogen can have a strong business case for decarbonizing GHG emission sources where electrification or carbon capture are simply too expensive or too difficult. Absolutely. Uh, our company is continuously investing in research to develop innovative solutions to challenges and opportunities we're seeing across the hydrogen value chain. Um, to give you a few examples, uh, we've developed and patented a methane pyrolysis process for producing hydrogen and graphitic carbon from natural gas. Uh, this process for making hydrogen is very exciting because it produces both hydrogen and valuable carbon products without producing any CO2 during the reaction. Uh, the production of CO2 uh, is a big challenge for other hydrogen production methods that are based on fossil fuels. Uh, a bit, another advantage of methane pyrolysis is that it scales down really well so that it can be deployed where there's demand for hydrogen, meaning on-site uh, hydrogen production and this eliminates hydrogen transport and distribution costs. Our innovation on this particular process is to use induction heating and a proprietary reactor design, which we believe has the highest energy conversion efficiency of any methane pyrolysis process we're aware of. Uh, to further support our work on methane pyrolysis, which we see as a huge opportunity in Alberta and Western Canada, 
We're leading a joint industry project, looking at over 50 potential applications for solid carbon in the manufacturing, construction, energy storage, environmental, and bioindustrial sectors. Our goal on this project is to identify the most economic and technically sound applications. And from there, to help companies develop new products for those applications. Uh, we're also working on a new exploration strategy to discover natural deposits of hydrogen occurring underground. Uh, we're actively looking for project partners to work with us on applying our strategy to drill for hydrogen, which we believe could drastically reduce both the cost and carbon intensity of hydrogen production. Uh, finally, we've also set up Canada's first and only testing service to analyze the quality of hydrogen fuel samples provided by fuel station retailers and hydrogen producers to make sure that it meets global quality standards. We know that impurities in hydrogen fuel can damage sensitive fuel cell equipment, so it's crucial to test and verify that the hydrogen used in these systems meets global industry standards. We've heard from dozens of Canadian companies uh, over the last two or three years that they wanted a local option for hydrogen quality analysis. So we moved to close this gap and provide a crucial service to clients. I'm really hoping that attendees uh, at my session at the Canadian Hydrogen Convention this year will recognize InnoTech as an innovator and a leader in hydrogen technology development. Uh, I also want to show attendees how we're focused on delivering on the Government of Alberta's hydrogen roadmap through our work on the Hydrogen Centre of Excellence. Uh, and most importantly, I'm hoping that attendees have fun at the event and learn something new from my presentation.